gotta make sure y'all share. Another day in the life. All right, another day in the life. Uh, this is apple juice, by the way. I should have messed with y'all. I should have said. Ah. All right, but yeah. Uh, peace and love, y'all. Love and peace. All right. Um, there's a lot of new people coming to my page. All right. And it's work the one thing I don't want people to think that is straight drama field. Okay. I don't want no one to that's new to this page just to think it's straight drama field. Okay. Trust and believe everything is to inform. All right. Everything is to inform. All right. Um, so. With that being said, we're going to go ahead and move past, okay, certain people and certain things, okay? All right, uh, remember, y'all, this information is real, okay? It's real. We can read the laws all day, okay? We can read the laws all day. But one thing I do not want folks to think that this page is strict, strictly just cussing and name calling and, all right, <laughs> All right, because that is not what we're doing here, y'all. We are here to make you laugh and learn, okay? Learn and laugh, okay? Not just laugh, 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 okay? As you can see, a lot of folks that's been following this page has learned new information. Has, have y'all kind of noticed when you go back and forth with a person in the comments, when you literally tell them, the acts and laws, it's like, it's like they ignore it. It's like they don't even see what you're saying. And I see a lot of folks that are informed. Y'all get confused because y'all be like, are you not reading my comment? I just told you where to read. I just, now y'all kind of see what I be saying. Like, you can tell a person a billion times for free where something is. All right. We have this ability to have our egos in the way. Like again, ego isn't just a bad thing, y'all. I want y'all to know that ego is not a bad thing. Because you can have an ego where it's like, yo, my ego is so big that I'm willing, all right, to listen to something to to help me elevate even more. All right, now there's another side to the ego saying, man, hell no, nah, I'm a ba 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 ba. I'm this and I'm that. I don't need to hear anything else. All right, now there's two egos. Now, I have an ego where, yes, I will hear something that is, hey, let tell us. That's why I'll bring people up. Like, hey, man, tell, what's on your mind? But a lot of times when I bring people up, man, they be too emotional, man. They don't really be logical. It's no real facts, no real information, okay? A lot of people are very emotional in this journey. And I'm an emotional person, too, but what separates my emotions um is there's a logic that fuels my emotions. All right? Logic is what fuels my emotions. Emotions don't fuel my emotions. Okay? So, uh, remember, always move with logic. And you can't move with logic if you don't know anything. All right? There's a couple of people that I was commenting to said, hey, man, how was... When we're talking about this information, I said law. What didn't you understand about the law? I had one woman. She said, uh, "I know a little, a little something about the law, but I, I do know that you was interpreting it wrong." I was like, "How? If you never read this before, the thing is, you know a little bit of something about the law. I know a lot about the law. So how can you tell me I'm misinterpreting the law? You can't. All right, you can't. All right, you can't." All right, you can't. Um, but again, this live is not about any losers or anybody that doesn't know this information. I just want to show y'all how uh, how grave this really gets. I want y'all to know this is that that's not gonna be the first time. All right, y'all gonna see me on the news one day. All right, Good Morning America. <laughs> All right, y'all gonna see me on the news one day. All right, y'all gonna be seeing me talking to way bigger platforms saying the same thing, and they gonna say the same thing. They gonna be like, what? Are you telling Americans not to go to work? And I'm gonna be there with my drink and say, yes, 
Yes, I am. Yes. Yes, I am. I'm saying, hey, you don't have to work anymore. Hey, you don't have to pay the bill. Now, am I telling people to just stop paying their bills? No, but they going to chop this up. Y'all, I'm going to be real. My life is so cool because now I got to really watch what I say now. <laughs> At first, I could say any goddamn thing, but now people is like making sound bites and click bites and things I'm saying and trying to, I right, so I was like, damn, I got to watch what I say now. Damn. Okay. So, uh, yes, I am not telling people to stop paying their bills. Okay. What I am telling people is there is another way to perform your obligations. All right, there's another way to perform. You're not obligated to pay. There's no law that says the payee is obligated to pay. That's the job of the payor. There's a payor and there's a payee. Okay, this is all accounting, people. This is all accounting. This is all accounting. We're accountants. Okay, we're accountants. Okay, we're accountants for our financial institution. What is our individual financial institution? It's not Bank of America. It's not Chase. Okay, it's not Wells Fargo. What is it? Does the government ever names it? No, they don't. They say things like estate. They say things like financial institution. Okay. All right. So, yeah, we, we teach over here, y'all. Okay. We, we get to the information. All that trying to make some. We don't, have y'all ever noticed I don't have to make anybody look bad? I don't have to make anybody look bad. Y'all ain't never seen me just come on here and just start tagging somebody around. It's always me responding to somebody. All right, because the information is going to make a person look bad, okay? All day, the information is going to make the person look bad. Every time. I don't need to make anybody look bad. Yeah, so, and y'all got to remember, everybody's not the same. So just because they lost, okay, since just because they lost don't mean you have to lose, all right, just because they lost don't mean you have to lose, okay? Where is my lighter at? All right, so the information, y'all, is free, family, okay? It is free. The information is free always, and it will always be free. Now, are my classes free? No, my class is not free. My classes will never be free, okay? Class will never be free, all right? For any financial quote-unquote expert with degrees out there, just ask them how do they pay their bills. If they give you a loan, try, they try to sound so smart. Well, you know, I like, man, just tell me how you pay bills. Income, how, how man, how you pay bills? Income, do you pay, do you got auto bill paid? Do you pay with your credit card? Do you pay with your debit card? How do you pay your bills? It's not rocket science. All right, it ain't rocket science. Yeah, they say auto bill pay, right? If they're if a financial advisor is paying bills using auto bill pay, that means they have a debit card or a credit card attached to that account, meaning every first of the month the bill comes out. And the informed people already know that is a no no. That's a no no. Why would we pay it using income when we can pay it using the uh, 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 the document from the issuer? Y'all got to remember, the issuer is one is the one that sends the bill, meaning the issuer is the payor. If the payor is the one that's sending us the bill and we're the payee, we're supposed to accept the bill, family. Okay, we're supposed to accept the bill. We use interest, family. We don't use income. We use interest, family. We don't use income. Ask a financial professional what is interest and who's supposed to pay interest. All right, that's all you got to ask them. That's it.
my bad, I had to get my lighter. But yeah, I am the smoking financial advisor. Uh, no need for degrees, because you don't need a degree to read, family. I'm going to say that two more times. You don't need a degree to read. I'm going to say that one more time. You don't need a degree to read. There's not a school that you can enroll in that'll teach you how to endorse your bills, okay? <laughs> For all you professionals out there, y'all are on a ticking time bomb, okay? It's just a matter of time. It's just a matter of time, family. All right, this information is going to reach a lot of people's doors. We're talking about law, family. I didn't make any of this information up, okay? All right, as you can see, it's going to be the degreed versus the undergreed. <laughs> Making up words right now. All right, so really think about that. It's going to be the undergrees versus the degreed. What the hell degrees do you have? Uh, the, w w did it teach you how to uh, claim interest? No. Toilet bowl. Okay? No. All right? So, again, this is not... We don't got to beat nobody down over here. All right? We don't got we don't got to beat nobody down over here at all. All right? We don't got to fucking do uh, uh, skits or nothing like that. <laughs> all right? We going to weed folks out. Well, okay, how you pay your bills? Well, you know, I... Blah, blah, blah. All right. So again, it's all love, y'all. With, with Brian McKnight saying, she gives me love, 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 love. Crazy love. She gives me love, 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 love. Crazy love. I might hear that shit when I get off. But yeah, y'all, it's all love. These laws. Okay, it's for us to use, not for us to read and not use. You know how I many people ask why? If you don't read this, why you don't use this? Okay. All right. Next in-person class is going to be in Atlanta, uh, but it will be in March. Not February, March. All right. January, February, March. Atlanta class will be in March. Yeah, you can't. You ain't gonna get far making a page for smear campaign. Like what? You're trying to be a Skip Bayless, all right? But yeah, you can't stop this information, y'all. Okay, ain't nobody getting locked up over this information, y'all. The only people that's getting locked up for this information is people that's using this information wrong. Okay. Yes, the only people that's getting locked up is the people that is utilizing this information wrong. Um, people keep saying that I'm a sovereign citizen. I never once said I would. I, I ain't never said that. Okay. That's one. We don't rep no sovereign citizen over here. Uh, kudos to anybody that does. Okay. Yeah, he pulled. Yeah, I mean, yeah. But like I said, y'all, those court cases showed nothing. It showed an open eviction case. Okay. All right, so it's it's nothing. You can't expose anything. You feel me? You can't really. The only exposure is when you ask, "Hey man, how do you pay your bills?" And then, well, you know, I paid my bills like this. All right. No, I did not have to give up my citizenship. Why would I give up my citizenship? I control a U.S. citizen. Why would I give that up? Okay. So this this I'm gonna be honest, y'all. Not a lot of folks that look like me, talk like me, knows this information, family. I know somebody going to be like, well, what makes you so special? Hey, man, ask the universe. Ask the universe. All right? Or you can ask me. Hey, I read. I'll tell you how I got to this point. Okay? I got, I got to this point by reading. I'm able to help people and get results because they read as well. The disconnection comes when I'm reading and I teach and then you get the message and you don't read and you just go. That's the disconnection. But when I'm reading and I'm teaching it and you hear it and you go read it to understand, then results come. That's a difference between folks that call themselves financial. Ask any financial advisors 
do you have any successful students? And when they say yes, ask them, okay, what did you do? And I bet you their first thing is say, hey, we got her credit score higher. <laughs> we got her credit score higher. We was able to move a charge off of her credit score. I'm like, ah, right, did you get did you get her money back? Did you get her down payment back? Yeah, yeah, y'all got and y'all gotta remember when people can't beat me with information, y'all gotta always remember they're gonna take the character. Always remember that. And I want y'all to see for anybody I ever debate, always remember when they start losing, the first thing is say, man, you went to jail for marijuana. You still driving around with no insurance. And I'll be like, what? <laughs> it's like, what? You're speeding. You got locked up for speeding. We pulled up your What? Is it an open case? Okay. Did they did I get found guilty? Oh. 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 Yeah, he did not call a bail sponsor. <laughs> that man is lying. He did not call no bells bombsman. Can't call no damn bells bombsman. Hey, man, I'm calling on behalf of John Doe. How did he pay y'all? Did he give y'all a, a, a credit card or did he give y'all, like, what? He got, he got y'all believing he did that. I mean, I didn't pay, I didn't pay it no mind. <laughs> pay no motherfucking mind at all. <laughs> Even if he did call my bells bombsman, okay? I don't live in that state where I. I have the charge in, okay? It didn't make any sense. It only made sense to people that really don't know how the court system works. I'm going to be honest with you. All right? It only makes sense to people that doesn't know how the court is ran, okay? Yeah, man, he ain't calling no goddamn. Again, this is apple juice, family. This is apple juice. Apple juice, apple juice, kids, apple juice. You can't fuck it. Yeah, you can't fuck it, man. What? Hey, I'm calling on behalf. Hey, how did he pay his? Did you know he's in? Like, what? <laughs> hey, yo. That's how I knew. That's how I knew I won. You know what I'm saying? Because after I got off, y'all, I started smoking, started playing 2K. Like, I ain't, man, what? My whole night. Okay? I wasn't tripping at all. Like, what? That you got an open eviction. I'm like, okay. You're going to see another open eviction. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so uh, for the ones that know what's going on, as you can see, y'all, it's a, it's, a, it's a long uphill uh, journey. Okay, it's a long uphill journey. Okay, that's just, that was just... 0.1% of how the masses truly feel, okay? That's why it's pivotal for those that listen to this information for you to apply this, okay? It can't just be one person. You feel what I'm saying? Because as y'all see, they're going to be like, where are they at? They got results. It's supposed to be a crowd. Hey, hey, I got results. I got results. Me, 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 me. Mm hmm Yeah, so a lot of people's about to go out of business. So y'all will see a lot of people get together and try to bring this down. All right, the same thing happened on the plantation. <laughs> okay. When you out that when you out that matrix, and then you talk about that matrix, and the matrix is not to get out of the system, family. The matrix is getting out of your own head thinking that you're supposed to pay something that's already paid. That's the matrix. The matrix is not, hey, I need to get out of the United States. That's not the matrix, family. The matrix is people believing that they're supposed to pay a bill. That's the matrix. Because when you sit down and think about it, where, where is the law that says that? That's why we go to the Bill of Exchange Act. 
Now imagine saying, well, Bishop Change has from the 1800s. Why would we use a code that old and it's, today is 2024? That's the dumbest shit you could ever even let infiltrate your mindset. Okay? Oh my goodness. All right. So yes, y'all, we're we're still operating off the Constitution, y'all. We are under the Supremacy Clause, meaning the law of the land everybody is under. Okay? All right? So we all have consumer rights. If your financial advisor is not telling you about your consumer rights, they shouldn't be advising any finances. Okay, they shouldn't be advising any finances at all. Okay, if they don't know how to break down a bill, and they're telling you, hey, yes, we can create a payment plan so we can get that uh, debt consolidated a little bit. They are not financial. If they went to school to learn how to better pay a bill, those same brothers and sisters had to pay student loans, right? Yes, we endorse student loans, all right? So all those degree holders, they probably have, stu uh, they probably have student loans right now, okay? That they're trying to pay back. And the whole time, there is no law saying you got to pay back a student loan. Why? Because consumers don't get loans. Consumers get con consumer credit transactions. Has anybody ever heard that before? Consumer credit transaction is not a loan. A loan is where you basically borrow and give back. The banks are the one that's getting the loan. The consumer is getting the consumer credit transaction. It's two things that's happening at one time. Consumer credit transaction, a loan. We enter a consumer credit transaction, give that application to the bank. The bank go get a loan. Who do the banks have to pay back? It's not the Federal Reserve. <laughs> All right, the banks have to pay back whoever they borrow from. That's why you got to know what is a borrower. All right, the banks borrow monies from consumers. That money is the application because the application is the security collateral. Persuading to Federal Reserve Section 16, Part 2 where it talks about application for notes. All right. All right. So yeah, y'all, uh, I didn't get, you can't, y'all gotta remember, y'all gotta remember. A loser can never make a winner look bad. Okay. Always remember that y'all. So however it looks, okay. However you feel. A loser can never make a winner feel bad. A loser can make themselves feel good, but a loser can't make a winner feel bad. Y'all really think about that. Do y'all think the Detroit Pistons can make the Denver Nuggets feel bad? No way, shape, or form. Now, the, the Detroit Pistons could have a good game against Denver. And that'll make them feel like, hey, man, we had a good game, man. But it's the Denver Nuggets looking at it like, hey, man, damn, we had a bad game. Fuck, we don't. Detroit Pistons really got an eye. Man, hell no. Nah. All right, all right, next game, man. Next, next game. Okay, next game. We're championship caliber. Yeah, facts. And I ain't never seen an accountant that had to make a smear campaign page. Financial advisors don't need to make smear campaign pages. That's not what accountants do. Accountants don't even have time for that. Remember, remember, we're not talking about an informed accountant. We're talking about an accountant that is not informed. So how do you have time to pocket watch? How? How? I follow two people for a reason because I don't got time to follow other pages. How? <laughs> yeah.
Y'all really just got to stand back and see what the hell is going on. All right? The other brother got them. I stopped talking about him because uh, I seen that he just wanted to, wanted some money. I was like, y'all want to debate for free. He was talking about, no, we can put it on pay-per-view and we can, you know, keep this beef going. And, you know, after that, we can uh, uh, make the biggest bag ever. Duh. I was like, make the biggest bag ever. Somebody said, what is a smear campaign? Smear campaign is basically you're smearing someone's character without even understanding or understanding or overstanding that person's way of doing things or even what they're talking about. For instance, let's say I made a post about you and I just came at your character. This guy is nuts. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Look at here. He just got locked up for marijuana. Goddamn. Look at here. He has an open eviction. Da, da, da. But it's like you're not telling the good things. It's like you're smearing the campaign. But that your campaign is to smear. Your campaign isn't to learn. You know what I'm saying? It's not you either have a learning campaign or it's a smear campaign. Okay? Yeah. Uh, I think, what's that guy named? Uh, Murphy Holmes Pug. To be honest, I don't even know why you still follow me, fam. You really think I'm... Whatever you... You made a comment the other day. I got a great memory, by the way. You made a comment the other day. He was like, uh... Your secret safe with me. I ain't gonna spoil your your show. Like, what, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> your secret safe with me. The law is a secret. The law is a secret. So yeah, all right. So this is what I'm gonna have to deal with forever, y'all. Y'all kind of really gotta remember. All right, I'm gonna deal with this forever. All right, so whatever level I be on, it's always going to be focused on saying, no, that's cap. All right, that's why it's pivotal for all followers that follow this page. You become a natural born reader. All right, you read with a purpose. Okay, you got to read with a purpose. All right, because when you read with a purpose, like you don't really got to sit there and argue with them. I don't argue with people. Okay, once I see an argument, man, I'm about to go ahead and get up out of there. All right, because ain't no uninformed person is going to over talk me or keep cutting me off. You know what I'm saying? That's like asking a homeless person for financial advice. That person is homeless because they don't have the information that will sustain. OK. All right. Again, this information is Googleable. All right. You can win so many debates just by using Google, just by asking questions like, well, what does that law say? Well, what does it say? I got to do that. What law says then when people start saying things like, well, you know, everybody knows that. That's when you know, hey, man, get up out of there. Get up out of there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, they, people don't read with a purpose. They try to read with, uh, they, people try to read for, for, for congratulations. Okay, I read it. Now I'm ready for reading. Yeah, a scammer don't never tell people to read. If I was a scammer, I'd just be like, yo, I ain't going to tell you nothing. Hey, get to class. Hey, I can't tell you that. Get to class. Hey, I can't tell you that. Get to class. Whoa, 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 whoa. I can't tell you that. Uh, Y'all get to class. Hey, I, I see you got the question, but uh, go ahead and uh, get to class. No. 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 Y'all don't never see me drop my cat. Hey, man, for any donations, cash at me. For any, for all donations, please go. Do y'all, have y'all ever heard me say that? Ever? Have y'all ever heard me say, hey, send all donations here? Not one time. Have I ever got on here and say, hey, cash app here, y'all, send all your donations here. And I know a lot of people want to donate to me. I'm like, yo, you don't need to fucking donate. Hey, you just gonna read. Don't donate. Just use that money to get a class so you can see what's going on. I don't need your fucking donations. <laughs> it, it, I, I, I don't know, man. A lot of people think I'm a scammer, man. But it's like a lot of people think LeBron's not good. Well, this motherfucker been the, the greatest for the last 20 years. I remember seeing LeBron when I was 10 years old. 
All right, ten years old, and he's still doing the same shit. So now, I, so I, I'm, I'm trying to take a lot out of LeBron's page. Like, okay, I'm gonna beat these people with longevity. Okay, all right. Four years ago, they said I wasn't gonna be around long. Two years ago, they said I wasn't gonna be around long. Okay, they said I was evicted two years ago. Still here. Then they get mad of how much money I make for classes. But then in the same sentence, they say, hey, he needs y'all money to pay the rent. He's in eviction. Well, wait, wait a minute. If I get this so much for classes, why wouldn't I just pay my lease up using the money that I get from my students? Why would I be going through eviction? It's an it's, it's a easy thing to piece together. Okay. It's easy to piece together. Why wouldn't I just pay up my lease? Why would people even know about eviction? What do you think about that, y'all? What do you think about that? <laughs> if I have open charges from the money I get from my class, I can just pay somebody to remove this stuff. Or get this get the charge dropped down, but I'm not. I told y'all everything is a long haul with me. I got an open case from 2022. Okay? Alright? Because the cop didn't well not well the prosecutor. He keep trying to he want me to uh uh Hey man, just pay the fine, man. I don't want you to have to go. Hey right, man, stop, stop stop looking out for me, man. I want to go to trial. Alright? Okay? Like literally, and I'm having fun. I'm having a ball with it, y'all. Having a ball. And they're going to cut that up and try to make a video from it. But I'm having a ball. Okay? Because these folks can't do anything with me. And when I get the all charges dismissed, okay, I want y'all to tag everybody that said, man, he's going to get locked up. Okay? All right? So, yeah, this stuff is very enjoyable, y'all, because it's actually using your rights. This is the real rebellion. Okay, I know it's a lot of rebellious folks out there. All right, it's a lot of rebellious folks out there, but a lot of folks are rebelling, rebelling the wrong, well, rebelling with the wrong intentions. All right, I was a, a rebel as well. Like, fuck the system. Forget the government. Blah, blah, blah. Now I'm rebelling for the right reasons. I'm rebelling society's way of thinking because society's way of thinking is not logically backed by anything. Society's way of thinking is straight emotions. Okay, straight emotions. Okay, straight emotions. Uh, somebody said Papito back. <laughs> uh, all right. So, uh, yes, a lot of this information, family, is for us to use and not for us to not to use. Okay, it's not for us not to use. Every act that you see is placed here for somebody to use. It's not for the banks to use. It's not for the corporations that's doing business us, with us use. It's for us to use. All right? It's for us to use. Okay? Yeah, a lot of people act like, well, why do you use, why do you need our cash? Because I give your cash out to people that need it. Yeah, I'm going to start, start saying that too. Yeah, for the money I get from my class, I give it out to people that need it. Yeah. Yes. 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 Now, go ask financial advisors, hey, what do you use the money for? Because <laughs> I'm like, this is too easy. Just ask oh, your financial advisor, hey, what do you use the money for that you get from your classes? What kind of fucking question is that? <laughs> what? He asks, a, he asks a person, well, what should that person get for their exchange? If I give somebody some financial advice that helps them elevate, what should that person receive in return? 
Again, y'all, this is all peace, love, and happiness, meaning there's no tough-ass questions. There's no... F but my thing is, like, have good intentions when you ask the questions. A lot of y'all ask me questions, and you got bad intentions. You're not really asking to hear the question. You're just trying to ask, well, uh, see, y'all, see, 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 y'all, see. And you all by your damn self. See what? Yeah, we already been over this shit. Okay? It was always be a price. All right. So, but anyways, this information is free at the end of the day. You can read from the Bill of Exchange Act. You read from the Sesta K. Vi Act of 1666. It doesn't matter if it says UK. We have the same damn laws. Okay. The Bill of Exchange Act. Okay, all bills are under the Bills of Exchange Act. Why do y'all think they created a Bills of Exchange Act? Because we're dealing with bills, negotiable instruments. If your financial advisor is not t t talking to you about negotiable instruments, okay, 10 times out of 10, he or she doesn't know shit. And you can tell them I said it. All right, you can tell them I said it. All right. Matter of fact, tag your financial advisor. And in that comment, I want you to ask, hey, financial advisor, how do I endorse my bills? And you're like, oh, what, in what aspect do you mean? Like, what the fuck you mean? What aspect? It's like, they always try to, try to, over, they, and y'all got to remember, people try, when you can overcomplicate something, you can divide a person that doesn't know what's going on. You got to remember, when you ask a person a question and they overcomplicate it, it's because they don't know what the fuck to say. Okay? Y'all got to remember that. If it, if it can't be a simple ass flow, why I got to... Um, well, you know... Uh, 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 uh. Okay, yeah, because all this stuff is old information. This stuff is not new. Yeah, they're going to be around the bush. I'm telling them to bring it to the streets. Not to the streets, but y'all know what I mean. All right. Y'all know what I mean. All right, but yeah, so... uh. For the folks that do got remedy, I'm here to let you know, like, <laughs> your life is going to change, but only for you. Everybody else is going to stay the same. And again, that's sad to say, but I'm trying to show y'all. All right. You could have remedy. It still is not going to make sense to somebody that does not read. Yeah, people are going to overcomplicate stuff for no reason. That's why I say a lot of people are about to go out of business. <laughs> so a lot of people are going to try to come together to try to find the people that took my classes that wasn't successful. They're going to put them on screen and say, hey, man, tell us your experience with Madison. <laughs> I, I took his class. Man, that, man, that shit didn't work. You know what I'm saying? Then I, then I went to ask him a question, and then he said it's 500 an hour. Man, he just won our money. Straight up, y'all, every time. And then that person interviewing him can easily just say, oh, my God, that ain't shit right there. So you mean tell me he gave you something that didn't work, and then he tried to charge you when you went to ask him a question? Oh, hell no. Nah, that's a scammer right there. <laughs> and I'm like, what? It, it is, and if you don't know what's going on, you'll hear that like, oh my gosh, oh hell no, that's just wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like that, man, it's, that's real life, y'all. This is real life. It's real life. Yeah, then the spirit campaign started. It's easy. You know what I'm saying? It's easy. I can easily go to, hey man, did you ever have uh, do business with him? Yeah, man, he ain't shit. Oh man, that ain't shit. Yeah, I mean, it ain't no he must. I know he skipped something. Cause my thing is, again, I try to tell people, I wouldn't have this following, okay, if I didn't have results. 
okay? If I didn't have students that had results, I would not have a following. I don't buy any of my followings, okay? So, again, if there are people that are successful with this, why would I harp on the people that don't want to read? That doesn't even make sense. Doesn't make sense. So, again, family, my, I have a class January 20th through the 21st. If you think I'm scamming, all right, take a chance, all right? 50, take a $50 chance, all right? I promise you, I not guarantee you, the information you're going to learn January 20th and the 21st, people are going to be in that class stealing the information, all right? We're not stealing it, but kind of piecing, trying to say, and they the one that pieced it together, all right? And you'll see for yourself, family. Nothing I do in any of my classes is any it, nothing I make up. We literally use Google and go step by step. All right, but in this class, we're going to go a little further. Okay, we're going to go way further, actually. All right, roll the dice, y'all. Take a chance. Okay, take a chance. It's 50 goddamn dollars. Take a chance. Sometimes the price be so low that people get it. Like, oh, man, hey, man, I just wasted two days. I just wasted my $50. Y'all remember that $30 class I had? Uh, I think it was October 22nd. I had a $30 class, eight hours. After the class, it was a guy that uh, made a whole, I'm talking about not even 30 minutes after class. That, the dude had a PowerPoint on YouTube breaking down my class and how I'm wrong and how I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm like, hey, yo, what the hell? Where am I? <laughs> Bro, I feel like I'm in zombie land, goddamn, for real. This is the walking dead. I be trying to tell folks, y'all, this is the walking dead. We are literally walking around dead people that don't even know they're dead. Man. Yeah, I got, I got people that spend money just to hate. They'll buy my class just to find, I know it, this motherfucker, look at his chicken scratch. He wrote his instructions on the notepad. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, they hate how simple shit be. Oh, my God. They hate it. Man, they hate that shit. Y'all ever seen that person that walk in the gym that don't stretch just start dunking that motherfucker? Crick shut my back, man. He just walked me. This motherfucker started windmilling. Damn. That's how it be. When somebody sees somebody windmilling that motherfucker, so it's like all the guys watching me windmill and goddamn throwing off the backboard, put on the show. It's folks happy. It's folks winning. And they like, oh, hell no. Nah. He ain't better than Jordan. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> Yo, but again, y'all, we are literally around dead people. Okay? We are we are around mentally dead people to the point where people that read and try to give logic is the one that sounds crazy. All right? Yeah, they be ready, man. They be And then I'd be smoking. I'd be like, oh, they'd be like, this? This is professionalism? I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? Shut up, pro. Pro loser. The hell? This isn't professional. You don't got to be professional to goddamn read. I'm getting tired of hearing that P word. Professional. That's not professional. 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 How you going to tell somebody to be professional when you don't even read nothing? How unprofessional is that? Not reading nothing. You know what I'm saying? A profession, a pro loser, a pro lesser. Okay, pro lesser, a pro peasant. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, properly professional peasant. P P P. Okay, P P P. P P P. Papito, Papito, you what's going on, bro? Papito. Hey man, I love uh, I be, I be playing FIFA all the time. And every time they hit a goal, I get, I be loud and shit. I'm like, go! So when I see Papito, like, Papito! <laughs> hey! <laughs> All right, but yeah, y'all, the information is free. For those that don't believe me, Bill of Exchange Act. Because again, let me let me give people the information. Bill of Exchange Act. Just Google it. Alright? Okay. Sesta K Vi Act of 1666. It's only two paragraphs. Now keep in mind, y'all. I know when you go read this the first time, you're gonna stop. Because you're gonna be like, man, what are they talking about? I just want to show y'all how deep this information goes. And I know these brothers and sisters are not reading this information deeply. I know they aren't. Okay? I know they're not. Note Bill of Exchange Act, uh, eight, it's, you got one, 1882. There's a Bill of Exchange Act of 1985, I believe. Okay, so all this information is free, y'all. Trust and believe. What's going on, family? All right, but yeah, let's open the floor up. Uh, some questions and answers. Questions and answers, questions and answers. Oh, I got somewhere to be at 8.30. All right, so questions and answers. Ask a few questions. Um, Y'all go ahead and drop some down at the bottom. Go ahead, drop some at the bottom, drop some at the bottom. Should a father put his signature on a birth certificate? Well, let me tell you the why, because I can easily say yes, but that ain't going to explain why should the father put his name on a birth certificate? Because him putting his own, him signing the birth certificate lets him lets the corporation know that he has a security interest. So yes, you want to be. It's like having a car title. You want your name on that title so you can have ownership in that bond or in that title. If I get denied for extension of my own credit, is suing the only way I can get approved? Uh, you should be aiming to sue because after you do your administrative process, because if you get declined and you go forth and uh, uh, claim the credits that they're supposed to send you, all right, by way of uh, tendering the payment and they still don't abide by it, yeah, you, you have to sue. Endorse transfer credit value to the endorser of the in instrument. What you mean, fam? Got a letter from utility company stating they received it, the bill of exchange letter and security sh shredded it. I am up in Canada. You said they shredded it? Okay, shredded sounds like they accepted it. You can assume that they accepted it because Canada definitely has a Bill of Exchange Act. I actually like that one more. Do you have a power attorney with the Secretary of Treasury? No, I don't. I don't need one. How does the UK law have power in the US? Uh, it's the same. Just look it up. Just I want you to ask that same question on Google. How does UK laws have power in the US? And your eyes is going to be like, damn! I sent my endorse check, but it's getting delayed in mail twice. What should I do? Oh, you just said what you had to do, fam. It's, it's held up in mail. You got to wait for them to get it. You can't read unless you're going to send it again. Should the subject matter to the OCC tell the entire... I mean, OCC really ain't going to do anything, family. I'm going to be honest. Should 
South Carolina Bill 092. As an executor of an estate, can I still do the pro? As an ex executor of an estate, can I still do the process? Why would you be able to do the process? That's the duties of the executor. Does the endorser transfer the credit value in the instrument to the endorsee? Yes. So can I go down to the bank and file out an application for a house and get it? Do I need to take the tender with me to the car lot? What use would it do if it's not with you? How can I prove they're trading on my securities? You have to understand securities. You have to understand what happened to your security. That's easy to prove. Did you give them an application? Yes. <laughs> that, that's your proof. <laughs> Where can I go to find the CFO? Uh, Google is a strong resource. Uh, find that corporation's headquarters. Yeah, one of them questions messed me up. Uh, I sent one in November and December and both got delayed when I sent to the payment center. You don't send to the payment center, family. You send to the CFO. Can you stop calling folks losing? Please go back to calling them piss poor. <laughs> and my mom passed away. My name is on nothing. Is there a way to claim her property? Yes, you can claim her property. Uh, my condolences too, by the way. Uh, you can claim the property if you're, um, again, if you're uh, the bloodline and you're the heir, you can go forth and claim it on her behalf. What if lease agencies don't tell me what bank they deposit my securities? Uh, that's fine. You can just attack the headquarters of that leasing agency. If credit is equally distributed, I don't need money correct but you have to overstand money to be able to enforce the prepayment if that makes sense how to handle a shell company who won't disclose the bank they do business with um you can only you can only work with jake what they give you you know what i'm saying don't make it a headache situation uh just attack the headquarters of the uh, company that you're um, doing business with how would I claim my father's estate he passed last year? Is that even possible? Yes, just like the last question. Um, for anybody that has, anybody that died in your family, let's say your dad, your mom, the thing is a family member need to come forth and claim that to keep it in the family's name because if not, it goes to the reversioners, which is the state. If I never signed a contract with the utility company, they assumed it from another. No, you definitely signed the contract with that utility company. You had to apply. When you applied, that was the contract. Is it important to know which tax documents apply before administrative process? Family, you answered your own question. Now, if you're not the only hair, you need uh, cooperation from all hairs. Well, shit, if I go forth and claim my daddy's estate and my sisters don't know how to claim it, I don't need to wait on my sisters. It happens all the time. <laughs> Y'all, it happens all the time. Somebody in the family go and, and collect grandma's estate, and then folks find out, like, oh, what? What the hell? We didn't know she got... And that shit happens all the time. How long do you have to claim a deceased family estate? It's no, it's no time on that. There's no time on that at all.
That's where the Sister K Vi Act comes in handy. Sister K Vi Act tells you exactly what happens if the supposed dead person is presumed to be alive. Haven't got remedy yet. I want to endorse a parking ticket. Is that good to start with? Uh, it doesn't matter what you start with, family. All it's all bills are gonna be treated the same. Rather you start with the mortgage first, or rather you start with the parking ticket. A lot of people do parking tickets because it's a low price. Because again, we look at prices, thinking, well, this should be easier because it's only twenty five dollars. When all actuality, nothing matters. Uh, it doesn't matter how much the amount is because Federal Reserve Section 16 Part 2 says that the application is worth whatever it is that was applied for. And it says in no event shall the security collateral be less than the Federal Reserve notes applied for. It says that word for word. Do I pay to the CFO or the company? Go read the Bill of Exchange Act, family. That question is sounds like you haven't read anything, brother. The application is the promissory note. Federal Reserve Section 16 gives notes equivalent to the promissory note application, which is traded at the Federal Reserve window. Correct, 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 correct. Bingo, bingo. Somebody push it. Somebody know what's going on. Somebody know what's going on. The application that you submit, that is the contract, family. <laughs> All right. That's the contract. You gave, there was an offer. Okay. All right. And it was sold. How do I get food stamp user information? Well, you got to know the information first, family. People think this information just so, oh, man, how do I, like, y'all got to remember, you can't get nothing. It's no even need to think about getting something. You got to have the foundation, family. A lot of people have the same question. Hey, how do I get a house? How do I get this? You have to have the information down pat. All right, I'm going to be honest. Not, a person shouldn't even want anything right now. Shouldn't even be like, hey, I need that. I need that. All right, a lot of this information, you have to learn what's going on. It's not going to take overnight. It's not going to be in a week. It's not going to be in a month. All right, it's going to happen as fast as much attention you pay it. <laughs> it's going to happen as fast as as much attention as you pay it. All right, meaning if you don't pay any attention to any of this information and you just want that, 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 it's going to take a long time. What do I read to get food stamps? You got to read your consumer rights, family. There's not just a, cons uh, hey, how to get food stamps? Because you can go read the Food Stamp Act and still don't know what it's saying. You see what I'm saying? You got to know that you have the right to credit in all consumer credit transactions. A food stamps is a consumer credit transaction.